What's going on, people? Today, I'm kicking off the Academy Award reviews, and the first one will be First Man, and I got that for you in Blu-ray and 4K, coming up next. So the Oscar nominations are out this week and First Man came out this week and even though that the movie kind of got snubbed at the Oscars, um, it was nominated for a few things that we will talk about later on in the review. But what that basically means is this is going to be my first review of the Academy Award films and I'm going to be getting into the movie itself right now. I was kind of worried going into this movie. There were uh, flags that um, people were saying about this movie that kind of uh, made me hesitant to see it. Slow burn. And, you know, I, I, even from people that I uh, knew, normally associate with liking slow burn movies. And um, I have to say that this movie uh, really captivated me throughout its runtime. And only through little bits and pieces of it were... Uh, a little boring to me and you know what this is actually a very cold film this movie is very cold in its characters and they don't really have a lot of emotion behind them they they keep it at bay this movie is all about loss and how you deal with loss and how you prepare yourself to succeed in the end on their name and their legacy and I, I just really like the message of this movie but it is just a really restrained movie as far as acting goes just because you know Gosling he's doing everything just to keep his emotions at bay and everything that went through this guy's life you know this is a true story and uh, it's just an interesting film and a different way to take this material and I commend the filmmakers for it and uh, for that I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. This movie is actually a, a good one. And getting into the video quality. I always start off with the Blu-ray. So getting right into that. Um, this movie was actually shot on 16 millimeter film and it does have a, a filmy look to it but that's not a bad thing and in the matter of fact I actually feel like uh, with the close-up shaky cam kind of movements that this movie does I, I tend not to like it and I tend not to like the cinematography but I definitely like it here and I don't feel like that takes away from the overall video quality and resolution you know this movie looks phenomenal and um, that is because of the rich color palette that it has and a lot of the small details that are in this movie. So you have all of the details that um, make up the uh, 1960s and a lot of detail in furniture and clothing and in the, uh, in the rocket ships and in the spaceships that they create. All of that just is full of detail and a lot of small elements that is excellent. Even in scenes that are uh, quick cutting and a lot of the more intense scenes are in this film. And a lot of the shaky cam didn't bother me. It, you know, this movie is just a, a very well shot good looking film with grain so grain haters beware but you know what that is to be expected this movie was shot on 16 millimeter and um i am still going to give it a 9 out of 10 this movie looks really damn good on blu-ray and getting into the 4k here this movie was actually a 2k digital intermediate so this is an upscale to 4k but as we have learned that isn't really a huge deal that's not a deal breaker what is is the fact that this movie movie has actually been given Dolby Vision support which does mean a whole hell of a lot and I will definitely get into that but first a lot of the detail from that blu-ray definitely is stepped up here you can see every inch of fiber in people's clothing and just the richness of this film 
And the fact that it was actually shot on film, it, it definitely is emphasized in this 4K version. And I, I just really dig that. But a lot of the grain is emphasized as well. And it's not intrusive or anything like that. But I do feel like I noticed it a lot more in this 4K version. But at the same point in time, it definitely worked for me in putting me into the 60s. And that is something that I just wanted to say up front. And, uh, you know, grain haters, you might not like this one. Um, but that is largely what this vision what the vision of this movie was supposed to be and clarity here is excellent none of the uh, close-ups and the shaky cam really bothered the clarity of this movie and uh, that was the same case with the blu-ray so it is the same case here and as far as the color palette here goes it is so rich and so vibrant and so full of life and I, I definitely I, I did really dig that that is emphasized by the HDR the HDR just gives it that extra pop and it makes it just look so lush and just coming off the screen and as far as the Dolby Vision goes I definitely noticed the Dolby Vision at times when you are dealing with uh, a lot of fire effects there is a decent amount of fire effects in this movie and every time that you have an explosion or fire it just makes it, it emphasizes the uh the, the the color of that fire and the bright orange is just really great in 4k and uh, for that i'm going to give it a, another nine out of ten this definitely steps up from that Blu-ray in every way that you want it to. And getting into the audio quality here, whether you watch this on Blu-ray and uh, or on 4K, you get Dolby Atmos support, and that is awesome. And uh, that is because, you know what? One of the areas that this movie is getting recognized with the Oscars is for its sound design. And let me tell you, you know, uh, the Oscars, they always want to include some dramas that have great sound design. And they don't want to just use this to include some of the action movies that came out during the year. And um, this is definitely one of the best sounding films as far as dramas go of this year. I would say this and Bad Times at El Royale because of the uh, just the way that the music was recreated with that one. That was awesome as well. But here, speaker separation is top notch. There is atmosphere to spare in this movie as far as surrounds goes. You constantly hear little details in your surrounds that makes the sound field feel very large while still feeling natural and that is awesome uh height speakers are used when necessary and um a lot of that is during the uh launch at the beginning of the film at at the uh chapter one that is amazing and you get those height speakers popping right away and pretty much during uh, launches and during failures, <laughs> um, there is a significant amount of height speaker work and um, that is really when you need it here. And for that, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. This is what you want out of a drama as far as a Dolby Atmos mix. And getting into the digital copy here, this is a Movies Anywhere digital copy, which means you can get the 4K version on iTunes and on Vudu. And getting into the special features here, all of the special features that are on the Blu-ray are ported over to the 4K Blu-ray. Thank you for that. And um, we get an audio commentary with the director here, Damien Chazelle, and with the editor and a few other people that were involved with the production. This is a extensive commentary that goes into a lot of technical things that uh, 
were involved with getting the look and the feel of this movie right. You get a featurette that goes into the training that Ryan Gosling went through for the film. You get a second featurette that goes into Damien Chazelle and um, why he chose to board this movie and what drew him to the material. And you get three or four other featurettes as well along with some deleted scenes. Uh, none of the featurettes here are that long. They're about uh, three or four minutes tops. But they do have a little bit of information crammed in them. And for that, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Hey, they're all on the 4K disc. And uh, yeah, they were there was some good information here. And getting into my last looks at Last Man. Yes, this is a slow burn movie. But... It definitely knows how to captivate you during its runtime. This is a very interesting film about loss and how you deal with loss and the pressure of still performing under that loss and how you deal with that. And I just really like that message to this movie. It isn't the typical biopic and I, I am kind of grateful for that. And when you end up all my scores for First Man in a Blu-ray and 4K, you come out to the same rating of a 33 out of 40. That is a pretty damn high score, and that is just because this is a very well put together release. Whether you get this on Blu-ray or 4K, you get the uh, Dolby Atmos track that is awesome. And even if you do pick this up in 4K, you get all of the special features on that 4K disc. That is really great, and the movie is pretty damn good as well. So, if you are interested, hey, pick this up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And uh, just be prepared to just sit down and soak it in. And next, I do have a surprise coming out for you guys. And if you watch this video, you know what it is. And I am going to go back about two years and review the 4k import of Suspiria and that is because the 2018 release of Suspiria is coming out this week and I'm going to pick that up and review it for you guys but I just feel like I should compare it so that is why I am reviewing this 4k import so if you are looking forward to that and if you have any other imports that uh, you would like for me to check out comment down below just let me know about that and if you are excited about the Suspiria reviews comment down below and let me know about that too because I want to know about it I want to know which one you actually liked better and as always thank you for watching my videos you guys are awesome I don't need to say it because you know it and I will see all of you next time.